quail and waffles. Interesting combination. It's adventurous, it's quite trendy at the moment to make waffles together. I just hope people order them. There's a few different elements going on, some elements that people may not be expecting to be tucking into as a starter, but I think it works really well working on lots of, sort of sweet and savoury notes. Keep on working and talk at the same time. Don't worry about the cameras today. I don't have time for cameras, just work. Come on, let's go. Work. Seriously, go. Go. Keep on talking to him at the same time. Over on starters, Billy's quail is prepped and he's now making his buttermilk and bacon waffles. Just find my last batch of waffles and that's it. I've got to somehow find a backpack machine for my egg yolks, so we might have to uh, change tact on those if it's not working. So, um, such is life. We're moving out in two minutes. On the trolley, please. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. The eggs are working. I didn't use a backpack in the end. I just sort of pushed all the air out manually and made sure the eggs were under the water so they're cooking. There, there, go, there, there, go. Good, good. Right, let's go, guys, right. please go. Slowly, quietly. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. I've got, I've just got these eggs. Let's go, mate. We've got to go, we've got to go, we've got to go. I've got one minute 13. For what? For the eggs that are pre-cooked. And then I'm going to hold them upstairs. So I said you were going to go at 20 up past, and it's now 20 to 2. I've got everything else upstairs ready to go. But there was a problem with the backpack machine, so... Oh, he's gone. Pass the ravioli, please. With fewer orders, Juanita is on track. But Billy is under yet more pressure. Billy, what can I help you with? Uh, three plates down, please. Three plates. Is there two bits of waffle in each? Is there anything else I can do? Not really. No, it's not. Okay. I'm annoyed with myself. There's not enough room on there to balance the egg yolk. Billy, come on, come on, come on, come on, Billy, let's go. Juanita. Yes. You put those two bits of, uh, bits of quail on. How many bits do you want on each one? Uh, one breast, one leg. OK, let's go, potato foam, egg yolk, let's go now, please. I need this up. Grab yours, going cold, I don't want to have to redo it. Go on, go, 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 quick. Oh, pop that one as well. Come on. Service piece, thank you very much. Good, starter's gone. of emotions, but just really happy and, yeah, very different from how I was feeling three hours ago. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, so I'd have liked to got seven out of seven plated perfectly. I didn't, so a little bit disappointed, but, yeah, hopefully it tastes really good. Seven of the restaurateurs chose Billy's southern fried quail, served with bacon waffles, potato foam, confit egg yolk, mustard maple syrup and thyme oil. The egg white, which isn't an egg white, which is the foam, is really clever. From a presentation perspective, it's interesting and exciting. The quail is, is cooked really nicely. Um, there's just too much sweetness. I think they've just gone overboard with, with the sweetness, with the whole dish. I'm sure if he tried this back in the kitchen, he would realise that it's more a dessert than a starter. There's a lot more technique going on here than meets the eye. Someone's put a lot of work into this dish, and it's playful, and it's made me smile.